Hello! Hi guys, it's Inamga4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. I'm going to show you how to create folders on this handset, but if you've already got a Samsung device, chances are you already know how to do this with TouchWiz. So please skip this video. This is mainly for people that are new to Android and specifically the Galaxy S4. You can create folders on the home screens as well as the applications drawer itself. So to begin with, I'll show you on the home screens. And the easiest method is hold down the application icon that you want to put in a folder. You get menu towards the top which says remove or create folder. Hover over where it says create folder, let it go, and then it gives you a menu to say what you want to call it. So we'll call this one photo. Hit OK, and notice how the icon changes. It's now got a circle underneath the camera icon there, which says photo, indicating that it's now a folder. And if you tap into it, you get the folder interface there. And if you want to add another icon to it or an application to it, hold it down, move it across or hover it above the folder, then let it go, and then it puts it in there as easy as that and then tap into it you can see the other application and the other method in which you can do this on the home screen itself is go to menu create folder and call it something I'll call this one stuff very inventive there and there you go you can see the stuff folder which is empty towards there I'll hold down Samsung apps and I'll drag and drop it there that's one we'll put the Play Store in there as well that's two and if you want to change where it is on the screen you can put it down there you can even put it along the dock here as well so if I hold it down and just move it above where the internet icon is there you can see it replaces it because the dock can have only a maximum of four icons as standard on the Galaxy S4. Moving into the applications drawer now here and we can follow the same process that we've just used but watch what happens. I'm going to pick up Samsung Link, put it in a folder and we'll call it the folder Sammy. Notice it puts the folder Sammy with the application in it on my home screen which isn't where I wanted it. I wanted it in a folder on my applications drawer. And what you need to do, I'm just going to get rid of this because I don't want it there. When you're within the applications drawer, this is what you need to do. Go to menu, hit edit. Notice the edit bar along the top. Now you can put the applications within folders and it will sort it within the applications drawer. So here we go. We'll do the same thing. Samsung link, hold it down. Go to create folder. Get the same menu here. So we'll call it Sammy again. Hit OK. And now you get the folder icon where Sammy is. If I tap inside of it, you get the folder menu. You can add additional applications because you've got the plus symbol there. And notice it puts a little box next to each one that you can move. So all you need to do is put a tick next to them here, like so. And what we'll do, we won't do TripAdvisor, we'll do voice search. And hit done once you've got all the ones that you want to move to the Sammy folder. And notice it changes the icon of Sammy to incorporate the other applications that we've just moved and when you tap into it it displays the other applications as normal from there but remember once you've sorted your applications within folders you need to hit the save button otherwise when you come out of this it'll just ungroup them all and put them as they were within the applications drawer so we'll just hit save there and boom there you go you can see it's remembered it and if you can come out of it, go back in, it's still there, the folder's still there with all the applications in it. If you want to add an additional application, obviously go to menu, hit edit, hold down the application that you want to move, so TripAdvisor here, and we'll this time, we won't use a plus symbol with the folder, we'll just let it go on top of the folder, and boom, it actually moves it as well. So if I hit save, and then go into Sammy, you can see it's moved the Trip Advisor application within the new folder that we've just created. And that's how easily you can create folders on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. Doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.